What's up guys? My name is Amaris and today I'm going to be talking to you about a man known as the father of modern missions. That's right, I'm talking about William Carey. Yay! All right guys, let's start at the beginning. William Carey was born in 1761 in Polesbury, England. He finished school at the age of 12 and found himself in the shoemaking business. During his shoemaking career, three major events happened in William Carey's life. One, he switched from the Anglican Church to the Church of the Dissenters, which were more nonconformist. Two, he met a woman named Dolly and started a family with her. And three, he discovered he had a love for languages and began to learn Greek and Latin. And on October 5th, 1783, William Carey decided to get baptized by his own decision. And the more he read the Bible, the more convinced he had become that God expected Christians to share the gospel message with others, even people far across the ocean in newly discovered lands. However, this was a very unpopular belief in the 1700s because most Christians believed that it was God's job to convert the heathen, not man's. But this didn't sit well with William Carey. In fact, what he did next changed the entire course of his life. That's right, guys. William Carey wrote a book in 1792, and he titled it, An Inquiry into the Obligations of Christians to Use Means for the Conversion of the Heathen in which the religious state of the different nations of the world, the success of former undertakings, and the practicability of further undertakings are considered. Okay, so the inquiry was the most well-researched Christian paper of its time. It included things like history and statistics, objections and justifications for sending missionaries out, also in it a plan to form a missionary society to which William Carey would be the first missionary that they sent out. I will go. I will go. Go! There's a gold mine of souls to be dug for in India. I will go down the mine if you all will hold the ropes for me. After raising his support and a few setbacks, William Carey and his family finally set sail to India in 1793. I see land over there. In 1800, more missionaries were sent to India to help William Carey. They all settled in a large house, which accommodated all of their families and a school in Sirampur. During his time in Sirampur, William Carey began to use his gift in languages to translate the Bible and print it in Bengali, and started preaching the gospel in hopes of seeing Hindus converted to Christianity. Repent. Repent and believe the gospel, every one of you, for the forgiveness of your sins. All in all, William Carey's life was pretty phenomenal. During his mission, he printed and distributed the Bible in over 44 different languages and dialects. Established Surampore College, the first degree-granting organization in Asia to train ministers. Helped abolish evil religious rituals in India, such as sati and infant sacrifices and witnessed many Hindus come to faith in Jesus Christ, beginning with his first convert, Krishnapal. William Carey sparked the flame of the modern missions movement, and his life can be summed up by his own quote. We must expect great things from God, attempt great things for God.